you can tell we are already in the truck it's about 9 20 we got out on Walby about 8 o'clock we popped probably 15 holes out there along that brake line we were roughly in about 15 to 20 foot and obviously we're in the truck so that means we didn't do very good so we're gonna make a little address adjustment and we are going to head over to little chapman to see if we can't find him out in the bay uh, last year when we went out there it's kind of a timing thing but last year when we went out there we did pretty good had a little bit of a variety of fish caught bass crappie and eels red ears there's just a variety of fish in there so we're gonna go try that we haven't been out there yet uh, I'd been out in the boat out on Walby where we went and fished and I was vertical jigging and I was marking them like crazy yeah I wasn't catching them but I didn't have a whole lot of time being out there that day that I went but I was out there marking them and we just weren't getting the marks that I was getting that day that I was out there which wasn't that long ago so we're gonna make a little move a little adjustment I didn't really feel like walking around that lake looking for fish at least we can go to something that we previously fished just to see if there is fish in there so we'll see you guys at the next lake Walk out there? Yep. Nice. Yep. Fall through, we fall through together. Gotcha. Safety first. <laughs> Buddy system. If I go, you go. Yeah. You want me to spud? Ah, we'll be alright. It's been cold enough. I ain't scared. Are you scared? I didn't see the eagles though on the big lake today. They were probably buzzards. You and your eyes. That are penguins. Yeah, that are penguins. Yeah. Sheen gets heavier and heavier every year. Oh, snow in there too. Sides are blowing it down. I'm glad you're pulling it. Yeah, right? Maybe one of these days you'll pull it. I doubt it. With the quad. That is one nice thing about that car, isn't it? Look <sighs> how much ice is out here. Alright guys, when you're looking for fish, it's always best to do a bracket system when you are punching holes. So what Caden's going to do here is they've located this hole and brake line that they want to fish. Caden is punching holes down the brake line according to his GPS. He has GPS on his phone, he uses that. Um, but what he's doing is punching holes all along this gut in this back pocket here, anywhere from 10 to 12 feet to 8 to 9 feet. And what they're doing is they're looking for green weeds. They're looking for a spot where crappie and perch and bluegill are likely to hang out. When you're struggling and trying to find something, the best thing to do is punch a bunch of holes in an area, hole hop a little bit until you can find where those fish are, and then you can get back on them. Yeah. Grab it. Yeah. 
yeah. Pole's all froze. That's what we got them out. Come here. Not too bad. We'll put them on the ice. There we go. There's number one. I think it might be another one, it is. You have a hook in your back? Maybe it's behind me. Have you? Yeah, finally got a gill to commit. Ain't real big, but toss them back, let them get bigger. Well, we're off the ice and headed home to go to work. Uh, was not a horrible day. We marked a lot of fish, just didn't get a lot of bites and if we were getting bites they were really light those three crappie that we had we had three crappie one gill uh, the three crappies that we had hit it like a rocket like they usually do but if there was any gills down there then they were fairly sucking it and spitting it back out so I don't know it was just a tough day uh, going to do a little more recon, especially where these people are getting out down here on Little Chapman and see where everybody's walking off at. My cousin lives down there, but we'd have to walk through someone's yard just to get to the lake, and we really don't want to do that. We don't want to be making people mad, especially around here on the lake. But yeah, wasn't a bad day good day getting out and going fishing at least we caught some fish caught the right fish that we were looking for uh yeah day one of four so we'll see what tomorrow brings and we're still not 100 percent sure on where we're gonna fish tomorrow so i don't know we'll see but uh i'll check in with you guys tomorrow and yeah we'll see where we can go from there so Hopefully you guys liked today's video, and if you guys want to see something different, we're going to be trying some new different things. I am, especially getting that underwater camera out. Just haven't had the room and the space, so hopefully out of one of these four days, be able to pop that hub up and we'll be able to get that underwater camera down there. But like I said, stay tuned, and hopefully the fishing just gets better. So see you guys later.